What's new in DAISY Lab 2016? DAISY Lab 2016 has added a new module, made changes to existing modules, increased the maximum block size, and made internal changes to improve precision throughout the program. Windows 10 is now supported, and Windows XP and Vista are no longer supported. DAISY Lab 2016 runs as a 32-bit application under 64-bit Windows. The new State Machine module is in the control group and is available with DAISY Lab Full and Pro. We've included an example with DAISY Lab 2016. It's a simple car wash where user input starts the State Machine and moves the virtual car through the tunnel. The new State Machine module implements sequences of operations in a much simpler way than was done in previous DAISY Lab versions. Users can use the State Machine module to define a series of steps and define the step change parameters between each step. Each step can define outputs or changes to variables and can use counters and can use clocks to determine the series or how the series of steps are going to run. You can easily reorder the steps in the State Machine or insert delete or append steps in any position in the state machine. Finally, the worksheet will run much faster and use less memory because only the actual step of the sequence is performed in this module, unlike when multiple parallel running modules are used. DAISY Lab 2016 changed the maximum block size from 32,768 samples to 1,048,576 samples. Most drivers have been updated to support the larger block sizes, including the measurement computing and data translation drivers. The time-based settings for this module are 500,000 samples per second. The default block size is 50,000, or one-tenth of the sample rate. When I change the auto block size and select a block size of 500,000, when I save that and run a measurement using a frequency analysis module, the FFT, and a statistics module, both of these modules were updated to be able to handle the larger block sizes. As a result of that, I'm able to get very high resolution on frequency. DAISY Lab 2016 has made some updates in the Options Global Settings menu. It's reorganized this to make it a little bit easier to read, and it's added two new functions, including a creator function, where you can define the username, the company, and the department. We've also added the ability to define virtual time bases. These will be saved in the INI file. You can define the default sampling. It defaults to driver. You can change it, for example, to your data acquisition device. And the default interface is the DAISY Lab. You can then change the preset data source for modules that use the time base, such as the switch to the slider, and I can say that I want to change it to my virtual sampling time base. As a result of this, when I create a module from the control group that requires a time base, such as the switch module, open its properties, click on the Options button, and you can see that the default time-based settings are now virtual sampling. This makes it much easier when you're going to be moving a worksheet or changing hardware and to be able to coordinate software-generated modules with hardware-generated modules. The time-based dialog changed as well. If you go to Measurement, time Bases All Settings, we reorganize this so it's easier to read. Instead of a bunch of tabs at the top, we have a drop down with the time bases that are available in the worksheet, including the Daisy Lab, the driver, the time base. You can also define the sampling that's stored in this worksheet. So, this is in addition to the global settings menu, and click OK. And then, when you save this worksheet, that information will get saved. A large internal change to the program was to increase the underlying data precision. We've changed the internal data representation from single precision to double precision floating point. In order to support that in the data files, we've updated the DAISY Lab data format so that you can specify that you want to store the data as either single precision or double precision. We've also updated the TDM and TDMS data formats so that, again, you can support being able to store the data as either double precision or single precision. 
A switch module has been updated to allow you to define output values for both the on and the off state and to be able to change the start value of the module to be either off or on. You can change the output values using the action module or you can configure these as global variables. This makes this module much more flexible including the ability to simply turn it off by setting both on and off to be zero. With the release of Daisy Lab 2016, Daisy Lab now officially supports Windows 10. We've updated the icons and we've updated the colors. There are a lot of internal changes that are difficult to show, including other updates to the user interfaces and modules and bug fixes. We've updated the script modules Python version from Python 2.6.5 to a more recent version of Python 2.7.1.0. This shouldn't affect any existing scripts, but will provide additional security in the latest bug fixes and features from Python. Daisy Lab 2016 is available now. You can download the evaluation version and order an update to Daisy Lab 2016 from www.mccdaq.com forward slash Daisy Lab.